Hi everyone, it's Andy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the live text feature in a number of different apps. Now, the live text feature allows you to use the camera or a picture that you have already taken and select the text that appears in it. This can be type text or it can be handwritten text as well. What's with anything? So, first one we want to show you is within the camera app. So when I tap on camera, as you'll see, it opens my camera. Now I've got this um, piece of paper sitting below my iPad. So you'll see that I've got photo selected on the right hand side and you will see the text that it's saying in the top left. So if I simply tap on my camera screen, and it zooms in, you will then see in the right hand side, uh, above the live photo, you now have the little lines with the corner. That is a live text app. So when I tap on the live text app, you will see it automatically selects that text. It then appears on the screen and it gives me lots of different options. Now, I can copy that, I can select all, I can look up, I can translate, I can speak it. If I have got a second language set up on my iPad, it'll allow me to speak it in that language as well. So what I'm gonna show you with this one is really, really simple. I'm gonna tap on copy. It copies the text, I'm gonna tap my home button and let's go to Microsoft Word and it opens up a, a new document for me. I'm simply going to tap on the screen, which gives me the paste option, and you will see that it then pastes it directly from the camera. So the second app I'm going to show you in is within Notes. So if I tap on Notes to open that, it brings me into my Notes screen, and on the right hand side I've got my blank note. If I just tap on it, it brings up my keyboard. If I double tap on the screen, it then brings me my options menu. You will see next to, on the right hand side next to paste, I have again the live text icon. If I tap on that, it automatically opens my camera and you will see that the text that I have selected below, same text we were using before, then appears on the screen. It automatically puts it in or if I tap on insert, it then copies and pastes that into my notes. So as you can see, uh, pupils are able to use documents that they have, photographs, etc., that have text in them and copy and paste that into their documents. It then allows them to go in and edit. It allows you to, you know, once again, change the text, etc., as you would normally. So the third way we're gonna show you is within Safari. So if I tap on my home button, it takes me back to my home screen, we're gonna then tap on Safari. When I tap on Safari and I've got a new tab, it then has the search bar at the top. If I double tap on the search bar, once again, you will see the live text icon appears. It goes directly down to my camera. So once again, it allows the pupils to be able to, whether it's um, scan some text to then search online or use a website or a web address that they see in a document. So the final one I'm going to show you is within how you can use live text within Google Docs. So if I tap on my home button to go back to Google Docs, I'm then going to quickly search for it. It's already there. Now, I am now in my Google Docs from there. So if I tap on the little pencil in the bottom as if I am editing my document. Google Docs a little bit different. It's a tap or press and hold. So if I press and hold, you will see it then gives me my paste or my select all options. But once again, you see the live text icon. When I tap on that, it opens my camera. Once again, any text that is below my camera, I can then tap on insert. It then puts it into the document. I can then edit, I can change it, I can move it around, etc., as you would normally with any text that is in a document. So hopefully you found that video useful and it shows you the uses and how you can use the live text function which is inbuilt on your iPad through the camera or individually through different apps that you have. Thanks for watching.